Today I'll tell you the story of this little water droplet. How from where it is moving and how it is moving. So this model actually I have made it out of foam piece where I've installed one plastic nipple which I can move actually freely. A straw I have installed here to which I have done a small, I have arranged a small water droplet, a plastic piece which appears like a water droplet. So how we can convey this story to children? I'll tell you. So let me start the story here. Uh, so the water droplet which is here in seas and oceans and different water bodies when it gets exposed to sunlight it evaporates. Uh, it turns into vapor and this process is called evaporation. It enters the atmosphere. Once it enters the atmosphere these water particles when they come closer and closer to one another when they get cooled they form clouds. This process we call it as condensation. Once they become heavier and heavier after the condensation, they rain, they rain. This process we call it as precipitation. Once they precipitate and when they reach to the land surface, they seep deeper and deeper into the layers of the soil, which we call it as infiltration as you can see here. They are seeping deeper and deeper into the, this seepage is called infiltration. So the story won't stop here, it keeps on continuing. Uh, again evaporation, again condensation, again precipitation, again infiltration. So that's why we call it as a water cycle. This little water droplet is not staying anywhere stable, it is not at all stable. It keeps on moving, it keeps on moving. That's why we call it as a water cycle. So it's very easy to prepare. Uh, uh, so if any cardboard piece or foam piece is there, you can just fix it and draw. Uh, with the help of chalk pieces itself, I have done this art. With the help of chalk pieces, you can uh, speak and you can learn this story of water droplet. Thank you.